I'm your Oneida neighborhood reporter, Katie Shiro, and I'm here at the Oneida Powwow Grounds. As you can see behind me, these grounds are being set up for the 49th annual Oneida Powwow, and soon they'll be full of dancing, music, life, and tradition. The Oneida Powwow happens every summer here in Oneida. Chairman Tahasi Hill says it's a special tradition that brings people together from all over. People from tribes all across the country will show up. Uh, there's vendors from all across the country. Uh, I know our family has a food stand here and we used to have a vendor next to us, a craft vendor from Albuquerque. He says this year the powwow runs from June 30th through July 2nd, though the community has been preparing for much longer. The weekend includes food, craft, and gift vendors, Oneida smoke dancers, and drummers performing traditional songs. Carrie Wabaneskum says what yeah, she's looking forward to the most is watching the dancers, and she even came early with her family to set up chairs for a front row seat. This is one of the powwows I come to every year, and I come to see family, friends, and honestly, when I walk through here, my kids always complain because they're like, Mama, you visit everybody. Hill says one specific preparation they made this year is that they added a cooling and clean air shelter for people to use if they need. He says anyone is welcome to attend the weekend and he encourages everyone to visit to experience a true community tradition. The vibrant uh, culture of the American Indians, you know, across the country, uh, being able to see, you know, the the dancers and listen to the, the beautiful songs being sung by the drum groups. The powwow takes place on the grounds of Norbert Hill Center. Tickets can be purchased the day of at the entrance. In Oneida, Katie Shiro, NBC 26.